Hi everybody, Ross Schaefer, and today I want to talk to you about how to sell more of anything. Hey, thanks for finding the Relevant Leaders Club, where I share smart ideas on how to grow your company and build strong teams. Now, as you can imagine, I've been a part of a lot of sales meetings over the years, and the number one question I always get is this, how can we boost our sales? I have a very simple answer. You want to sell more, you have to tell a better story. Now, it doesn't matter if you're selling automobiles, financial services, or B2B software programs. The, the top salespeople always have the best story, the best value proposition. Their product and service story is always personal. It's always emotional because they know when you have an emotional story, your clients and customers care more about you and what you sell. They see themselves living a better life because of what you're selling. And you know this is true because it's worked on you. You're probably a lot like me. I love to buy things, but I can't stand being sold on them. I want to go away thinking, I just made a very good decision. Because, I, in fact, I think it was my idea. I despise that old sales pitch, hey, buddy, what will it take for you to buy from me today? You know what I always say? What will it take? Anybody but you. Because the old what will it take pitch assumes the only reason I won't buy today is because the price isn't low enough. And anytime you think a purchase hinges on a lower price, you lose. If it's about price, you're telling me that your product or your service is now a commodity that I can get from anybody or the internet, in which case you deserve to lose the sale. At no time should we be in the commodity business. I mean, you can sell similar products, everyone does, but you and your story should be the convincing difference know how to explain why you are different. Maybe it's your support team that makes you different. Maybe it's your reliability or attention to detail that makes the difference. Uh, tell the client, call me 24 seven, 365 and I'll solve any problem. And when you have a more competitive story to tell, you can charge more money for that because you've got a better value proposition. I mean, take Alan Mulally, who took over uh, Ford Motor Company. Ford had been going out of business for decades, but Mulally decided to stop competing on low price. Instead, he substantially raised the prices of the Taurus and Fusion by adding better upholstery, better sound systems, more luxury options, and longer warranties. He convinced America that Ford was a bona fide competitor of BMW and Mercedes. And did it affect sales? Yes! Americans took billions of dollars to Ford dealerships and were thrilled to pay more money for a better value and a better story. So if you want to increase your sales, ask yourself, am I relying on price to sell my products and services or can I create an emotional story about why people need what I'm selling? If you can tell a better story, you deserve to charge more money. Hey, if you like what you've heard here in the uh, Relevant Leaders Club, you can see what we have with other videos and you might even uh, like to comment. We would like you to because we're trying to grow this community of better leaders. Place a comment below. Join us. We need your experience and your expertise. And feel free to download my ebook, Are You Relevant? I'm Ross Schaefer, and I'll see you next time.